If you love gymnastics as much as we do, then you can't disagree that the precision, power, and grace of a gymnast are amazing. All sports have their own magic, but this might be one of the most beautiful ones yet. Have you ever been curious to see what these gymnasts are really capable of? If you are, then we've got you covered. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the most satisfying gymnastic performances ever. First off, we have the incredibly talented Nadia Comaneci and her uneven bars in 19 76. Nadia Comaneci is regarded as one of the OGs of gymnastics, and it's simple to see why. At the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, Nadia became the youngest gymnast ever to earn a perfect 10 score, doing so at the age of 14. She won three gold medals that evening, one of which came from this magnificent routine. If you've ever dreamed of rising high in this sport, then you've probably come across her amazing feat, which still amazes gymnastic enthusiasts to this day. Even the scoreboard at the 1976 Olympic Games in Montreal was stumped when the Romanian gymnast earned a perfect 10 on the uneven bars in the group competition. No one had even considered it was conceivable. Therefore, the scoreboard was unable to generate the four digits required to indicate a row of 10.00s. Comaneci achieved six more flawless 10s as she rolled to three gold medals and global stardom. Once it was shown that she could do it, the idea that there's only one route down from there didn't bother her either. She won two world championship gold medals, multiple European titles, and two additional gold medals in the 1980 Olympics in Moscow, thanks to her incredible talent, balance, and flawless technique. Next up is Svetlana Korkina with the amazing balance beam routine in 1995. Svetlana Korkina, who won 47 medals at the Olympic, World, and Europe European Championships is regarded as the greatest gymnast of the 1990s and early 2000s. With 10 medals, she has far more medals from major all-around competitions than any gymnast, male or female. Korkina, who accomplished this feat in 1997, 2001, and 2003, is the first gymnast to win three all-around victories at the World Championships. In the 1995 World Championships, Svetlana had a minor error in her otherwise flawless routine, but she gracefully overcame it. She dismounted using the layout gainer full, a move that gave the appearance of two beautifully suspended whirling pinwheels thanks to her mile-long legs. While Russia failed to win a team medal, their gymnasts didn't fail to make them proud. She won gold on bars and finished second in the overall competition, moving on to win the gold medal on bars in every subsequent world championship until 2001. But this was the first time she had ever won the competition. In 1994, she finished second. Korkina had to develop a lot of unique movements to match her height and play to her strengths because she was an extremely tall athlete for her sport at 1.65 meters. She's the only gymnast, male or female, to have an extraordinary eight movements dubbed after her in the artistic gymnast code of points, at least one on each piece of equipment. Now for none other than the elite-level gymnast, Kate Caitlin Ohashi with her floor routine in 2019. Caitlin Ohashi was a talented gymnast but never took part in an Olympic competition, despite being good enough to beat Simone Biles and win the 2013 American Cup. Caitlin Ohashi's bubbly, happy floor routine from the 2019 Collegiate Challenge is impossible to forget. Her broad, charming smile, her bobbed curly hair bounced with each leap split, tumbling routine, and dance techniques modeled after the Jackson family. It was perfect, this rhythm. No wonder it received a perfect score of 10. You might not be aware of how rare it was for Ohashi to experience that level of happiness with gymnastics once more. Ohashi was on track to make the Olympic team up until 2013. She was broken, though, between the injuries, poisonous society, constant training, and body shaming. She was no longer innocent. She despised the game. Ohashi was able to renew those happy thoughts about gymnastics by enlisting in UCLA's squad, after taking a break for a few years to find out and follow her own road. Her viral magic trick on the floor is proof that joy spreads easily. Let's talk about Carrie Strug with the best vault performance in 1990. 
1996. Strug qualified for the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta as a member of the Magnificent Seven, a legendary group of athletes. Although the USA was in excellent form and these were their home Olympics, their gymnasts hadn't ever won the team competition. The Soviet team, which had won the gold medal nine times in a row, was once again the heavy favorite. The USA squad had yet to land cleanly after four competitors had previously jumped, whether it was the strain or perhaps it was anxiety. However, when 14-year-old Dominique Mochianu took the initiative, things rapidly deteriorated. The young gymnast failed both times she attempted a vault. It meant that Strug had to carry the entire load. Disaster occurred with her first vault. Her ankle gave way beneath her as she fell awkwardly to her feet. Strug's face was etched with pain, and the stunned spectators gave off the impression that her competition had ended. Strug hobbled up for the vault that decided the gold medal in obvious pain. All eyes were on the landing as she launched herself through the air. Her ankle appeared to tremble as she landed because of the force of the jump that went through her entire body. She grimaced in pain as she triumphantly raised her arms. Strug had done it. She successfully executed her landing and gave the USA their first ever team gold medal. Moving on, we have Oksana Amelianchik with her heart-stealing floor performance in 1995. Oksana Amelianchik was a gymnastics icon during the 1980s and left a significant mark on the discipline. At the 1985 World Championships, she shared the AA Championship. She holds the distinction of having not one, but two different floor routines that are among the most famous in WAG history. Emilianchik contributed to the rise in popularity of marathoning on the floor, in which gymnasts do tumbling passes that travel from corner to corner before turning back in the direction they originated from. Marathoning was once a craze, but it has since lost popularity in recent years. At the 1985 World Championships, Emilianchik, who was 15 at the time of this performance, won everyone over with the youthful vigor of her routine. The gymnast, who was only 4'7 and 66 pounds, flew through the air like a bird while matching her music. Emilianchik, a seasoned veteran, competed in 1989. Despite her age and even took home a medal on the floor at the USSR Championships, her retirement in late 1989 marked the end of her career. It didn't seem to be her choice, rather something the Soviet authorities pushed upon her. Up next on the list is Michaela Maroney with a stunning vault performance in 2012. The American women's Olympic gymnastics team, known as the Fierce Five, made history in 2012 when they became the first team from the country to win the gold medal for their accomplishment in the Summer Olympics. This team, which included Gabby Douglas, Michaela Maroney, Ali Raisman, Kyla Ross, and Jordan Weber, defeated Russia for the silver medal with a convincing margin of 5.066 points. Maroney competed on the vault, her strength and her only event in the team finals, as the third and last gymnast for the Fierce Five, and her performance shocked everyone. The Long Beach, California native who was 16 at the time achieved incredible elevation on her Aminar vault, and what she performed while in the air was astonishing. The fact that she stuck her landing, capping off what was, and still is, perhaps the best vault of all time, was even more amazing. In the vault segment of the women's team finals, Maroney received a score of 16.233 points, making her the gymnast with the highest overall score across all finals events. Last but not the least, we have some Simone Biles and her groundbreaking floor feat in 2016. The floor exercise usually belongs to Simone Biles. She has excelled in the event since she was a small child, when some people believed she would only be good on the floor and the vault, just not as an all-arounder. They were badly mistaken. Biles' trademark floor technique at the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Games was a double layout with a half twist and a blind landing, which is now formally referred to as the Biles. It was the first technique to be dubbed after her since she was the first to do it at the World Championships or Olympics. Since then, she has expanded her floor repertoire by adding the Biles 2, a triple-twisting, double-tucked backward somersault that requires slow-motion viewing to count the flips and twists. She appears to be being flung around in a hurricane's eye, but in the end, she manages to land on her feet like a cat. One of Biles' numerous athletic gifts is what is known as air 
more awareness in the sport of gymnastics. That's a wrap for this video. Which performance did you love the most? Are you going to go on a gymnastic binge watch now? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.